Hello everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for July 18th, 2016. Excuse me, I'm laughing because Georgia is looking at the window at another cat and she's very territorial. So, back to our business. The moon is in Capricorn and it's Queen Kongsing Venus. And what does that mean? It means that we could give, give, give and remain a little empty ourselves. We could be preoccupied with catering to everybody in our lives and end up with achieving nothing or nothing that is really important to us. So we have to learn how to put our priority list right today and put ourselves high enough in the priority list from an understanding that if we want to keep on giving and taking care of people in our lives for a long time, we have to um, make sure that we're meeting our own goals, that we're satisfying our own needs so we could be happy, healthy, and satisfied as the years progress and keep on giving to the people around us. At the evening time in Europe, that's around 1800 hours and it's around 12 noon time in the States, Eastern Standard Time, there's a sextile to Neptune. This day is favored regarding any artistic or spiritual endeavors. It's a day that the muses can actually speak with us, and that's good. And later on, from around um, 2200 hours Central European time, that's around uh, 1400 hours, 1500 hours Eastern Standard Time, we could start feeling the conjunction between the Moon and Pluto. That could either be good or bad depending on where we take it to. It is an intense time. It is a deep time. It's a time that we become more intimate with our needs. And if our needs are met, this could be a very happy time, a very uh, uh, intimate deep time with people that we love. Okay? And intense in a good way. <laughs> if there are things that are requiring change and need to be addressed, we have to be careful that when we plunge them up from the deeps, in a sense, we don't do so in a volcanic way, we don't do so in an angry way, we don't do so in a way that forgets that we're actually going through this house cleaning so everybody could live happily in this house together. So always remember that even if we are talking about hard subjects, our aim is to make sure that we can go on living happily with these people around us. That we want to clean things out and not be only set on the anger or blame or hurt at that time. There is still a grand water trine in the sky. It's more or less the last day of it. It's leaving us, so there's a lot of emotion in the air, emotion that we can utilize to change things in our life and in our relationships. Ceres, the planet in charge of nature, the goddess of fertility, the goddess of nature, moved in to Taurus. And what does it all mean? Well, for me, it means that our caretaking of nature of this universe, of animals and plants and the environment is moving up a notch. And we would be more reliable in the way that we look after endangered species or natural habitats in the near future. We're moving up a notch and that is a blessed thing. So, I hope you're going to have a very beautiful day and a positive one, and I want to thank you for listening. This is Boaz Feiler. Goodbye.